Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Space Quest 1, the Sarian encounter for more point and click or text parser adventure game action. We are back where we left off. Um, we've got this little friend here down on the ground, the spider drone, who's been sent by the Sarians to try and track us down. Uh, and I'm a little bit worried about him because he seems to move a lot quicker than we do. And I think we've actually got to get back past it to get to the escape pod because I believe there's a couple of items that I've missed that you guys have haven't told me where they are but told me that they're quite important so we're gonna have to check those things out uh, but yeah I don't fancy my chances of running away from that thing actually so I need to get back to the pod and it's gone so is it moved to a new screen or huh Oh, it has. Uh, okay. Uh, can we get across this thing? It's definitely cracking, isn't it, as we go? Uh, I was. I did wonder if there was a way we could potentially collapse this on that spider drone, but also I don't know if this is going to kill me. I, I mean, I don't know if we can. It was just a... Of course, of course that happened. <laughs> you have travelled a long way only to die by carelessly stepping to your death. What a clod, right, okay. I mean, I I did wonder if that would happen. So at least now we know that that, that does indeed collapse. So we've got to bear that in mind. I thought maybe we could make it fall onto the drone and destroy it, but apparently that's not a thing. So we won't try that again. So, yeah. Oh, God, it is following me, isn't it? How are we going to get past this thing? We might have to load. I mean, we haven't picked up anything new. So, we, we might just have to load. I don't, I don't, can we walk that way? <laughs> why? Why, game, why? I mean, it's not even a clear cliff edge, that, is it? Come on. <laughs> Come on. I mean, there's two deaths already in this episode. And, um, yeah, I suppose there's a line there, but <laughs> it looked like it was on the same level. Oh, God. It looks like it's on the same level. I'm sorry. It, it does. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Note to self, don't go near the edge of the cliff. I really thought as well that, you know, the edge of the cliff would be marked. Or like it'd be a barrier, so you, you, you wouldn't be able to actually fall off it, but apparently not. Um, can we do anything? Can we look at rock? It's a very large push rock. It lands with a... Okay. I wonder if we can then push that onto the drone. I mean, we've used it now, so... <laughs> Obviously not. Do you know what? Let's try it. Let's, let's give it a go. Let's load and we'll see if we can time the push to see if we can push it onto the drone i mean i have no idea if this is going to work but we'll give it a go push rock we kind of need to wait for it to come back i'm guessing if this works it's going to be amazing it's probably not going to come this way now is it it's probably going to be really intelligent or something wait no it's coming go <laughs> Yes! It was not known that you're a master of the rock. That was a fine effort. We did it! <laughs> we did it! I cannot believe it. I cannot believe that worked. Oh my word. Okay. Wow. Destroyed drone. <laughs> wow, there we go. That is something. Um, it's dead. <laughs> it's dead. I mean, they've probably got loads of them, right? So I bet they're just going to send another one down. Although we did get score for it, so maybe not. Maybe we were supposed to do that, and that was the way of getting past the drone. I mean, I'm guessing, knowing this game, it probably won't be that easy. Is that a cave over on the right there, by the way? Uh, yeah, it's probably not going to be that easy knowing this game from what we've experienced so far. So I'm sure within sort of a set time maybe it'll give us a couple of minutes or something if it's feeling generous but i'm sure they will just dispatch another drone because yeah this game is evil like that isn't it it doesn't like us to have 
the best, most fun time ever playing the game. Saying that, I am having a lot of fun playing this. I'm finding it really challenging, actually, and, and I, I like that in an adventure game. It's really making us think. It's making us... Yeah, just really focus on what we're doing. And actually, you know, some of the deaths are frustrating. Like that one where we just dropped off the edge of the cliff was a little bit frustrating. <laughs> I, won't, I won't lie. But we're learning as we go. And it's making us really think about what we're doing. So I swear, if I die here to one of those big things in the ground, I'm going to be so annoyed. Uh, right. So let's look at the pod. Look at pod. The pod seems to be semi-destroyed. A glimmering catches your eye upon closer inspection you see that a piece of highly reflective glass has broken out of the pod window uh pick up glass glass now in your possession okay can we enter the pod again we can let's look and see if there's anything in here are you sure look i have to be more specific uh pick up say what okay uh leave pod look in pod that best be done from okay so maybe we can get in enter pod look in pod can we do that you learn nothing through the okay so uh there's obviously nothing else in here i'm hoping <coughs> uh let's save then and call it uh glass because we picked up some glass apparently there were some items around here and things that i don't know i mean i'm guessing that's one of the the items that i've been told about but apparently it's something that is needed but the game does not even prompt the heat is causing you to develop quite a thirst a drink of water would most certainly be pleasant do we have water drink water say what uh let's look in our inventory uh okay so we've got a cartridge key card key card uh glass and a gadget okay look i've also been told we can do this look at glass this is a piece of highly reflective view shield glass from the escape pod due to its special design there are no sharp edges okay uh look at uh gadget written on the electronic gadget are the words dialect translator on one end is a dial and a light currently dim okay look at cartridge this is a data storage cartridge on it are the words astral body formation the untold story okay so i won't lie i'm a bit concerned about that water thing because i mean is there like a, an invisible thirst meter or something? Because if there is, I have no idea where we're going to get water from. <clears throat> so that could be an issue. Also, I've been told to look at this. Uh, so let's save. Uh, I get, Is it an Easter egg? I don't know. S. Thomas told me to look at this. So uh, look at cliff. Uh, sorry, it's spelled that wrong. Look at wall. Are you sure we want to look at that? Uh, look at hole. From this distance, it looks like an ordinary hole in the side of the cliff. For a better look, you will have to get closer. Look at hole. And we're in it. Oh, for God's sake, no! <laughs> oh, something ate us. Whatever it is in that hole just enjoyed lunch on you. This should teach you to be cautious when entering alien when encounter <laughs> when encountering alien holes. I mean, I suppose you should probably also be careful if you enter alien holes as well. But that's not the type of thing we're going to discuss in this playthrough. So um, <laughs> we'll move swiftly on from that, shall we? Let's go back to Easter egg then. So we are going to have to, <laughs> jeez, we are going to have to find some water and. I'm thinking we're going to have to find it quick because the game I'm guessing wouldn't prompt us to to be thirsty or find water unless we needed to do it correct so now I'm a bit concerned unless there's somewhere on the planet though where we could potentially drink water from so how about we head this way we don't go up the cliff because I'm guessing it's going to be hotter at the top of the cliff 
Uh, it looked like there was a cave or something over this way, didn't it? I don't know if there is, but we can certainly have a look. Maybe it was further up. Yeah, I guess, I guess we were up on a cliff and we fell off the edge. We've had some pretty awful deaths in this episode, it's got to be said. Uh, okay, so I'm thinking it's probably here. Uh, cave? Question mark. It looks like it might be the entrance to a cave. Oh god, okay. What is that? No, 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 no. Go away, go away, go away. Please don't follow me out here. Okay. No, 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 no. Get, get the hell out of here. <laughs> run, run, run. <laughs> right, okay, we're not going back in there. That is certain death, I'm guessing, if we go that way. That thing looked like it wanted to eat us, so... Oh, what's this? Look around. You are near the base of a plateau upon which rests two large rocks. It's a rather bleak environment. Yeah, those rocks look like, like we could potentially do something with it. I don't know what, but... No, this is going to be somewhere where we get eaten again, isn't it? All right, let's stay away from... Maybe it's the lines. Maybe the lines are where... <laughs> yeah, maybe the lines are where it is. Yeah, that that's, that's a great way of... <sighs> I have nothing else to say on that matter. <laughs> oh my god, this place is just treacherous isn't it right let's see if we can so i wonder if this is actually the same screen to the left of the pod oh for god's sake oh geez okay <laughs> there was me thinking that when we finally leave the arcada the game would get easier but no 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 it's um <laughs> It's more savage now. It is way more savage now. Is this the same screen? I'm thinking this is probably the same screen. <sighs> oh my god. It is just awful. Now I know why everyone was saying about how brave I am, or stupid rather than brave, I think, for for playing this game completely blind, because it is ju it's just so unforgiving. <laughs> oh, I feel like we need to get into that cave as well to get whatever... It, I've, I guess there's something in there, but... Do, do you know what? Screw it. Screw it. It might not be a bad monster. It might be a good monster, so... You know, perhaps we can actually do something. Maybe it's just meant to be like a red herring. And it's meant to make us think that it's going to eat us or something. But it's not. So let's Joe, let's look around. You're in an area almost entirely surrounded by cliffs. A path winds its way along the sheer cliff to the left. It is not accessible from here. There is a cave to the right. Uh, look at cave. Okay, that's the fight. It's the same thing. Uh, let's stop immediately inside. Look around. You're in the slimiest of caves. The odor in here is less than desirable. Let's just see what... What have we here? What? Uh... Aurat has transformed you into a new source of recreation. You, of course, don't survive this treatment. <laughs> it's tough to make friends around here. Yeah, it certainly is. We're dead again. <laughs> right, okay, so Aurat is not our friend, it turns out. He just wants to turn us into some sort of basketball, so... I mean, maybe there's a way we can deal with Aurat. We dealt with the spider drone, so... And actually, they haven't sent another drone. So perhaps there is a way of dealing with him. I mean, it did say the gadget was a, a rec no, recreational device. There was some sort of... What did it say it was? Look at gadget. Dialect translator. So perhaps we can use that to talk to Aurat or something. I don't know. 
Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe he's just going to turn us into a ball again. I honestly can't say. But, um, yeah. Let's head back across here. We'll try following this windy path. That is getting precarious. So, I'd rather avoid walking over that too many times if I can. Uh, right, okay. Let's not fall off the edge here. We'll head up here. We'll see what's up this way. Because we don't want to fall off the edge. Right, let's look around here as well. Look around. Nothing really of note there. Sorry, I'm just having a bit of water. So let's head right. I guess this is going to take us to where those two things were. Perhaps. Where are we? There we are. Right, let's look around here as well. Your higher topic. Okay, it's the same thing. Oh, it's been an eventful episode so far, hasn't it? I mean, I've I've lost count of the death count to be honest. I know S. S. Thomas is keeping track of it in the comments, but I don't even know how many times we've died on this episode. Uh, look around. Your higher top of Rocky's plateau near two halves of an arch. The desert. Okay, so they obviously used to be something look at arch they point at each other as if to form an arch can we oh for god's oh oh there's a secret elevator okay interesting i thought we'd fallen down and died but no we're good um <laughs> well there we go elevator and that guys i've spelled that wrong doesn't matter it's a good place to leave it for this episode so as always thank you very much for watching a big thank you to my patron arcades games for the support as always i really do appreciate it make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so and i'll see you all next time